Hey guys, Brett Johnson, Realty Network Group at Realty Executives. Welcome back to our video blog. Today's topic actually comes from a uh, first time home buyer that I was working with uh, probably a month ago. Uh, and he'd asked me to kind of talk about um, the differences in down payment. Um, he was very surprised to find out that you didn't need 20% for a down payment. And so I thought I'd come up with um, kind of just three myths, I guess, of what um, you need to know about actually down payment and the things you can actually accomplish moving forward. So the first myth, I guess, and we'll start with his question, was uh, that you need 20% for a down payment. Well, the cool thing out there is there's a lot of lending programs available um, for pretty much all sizes of buyers. So um, you can do things like an FHA program for as little as 3.5% down. If you're uh, in the military or have served in the past, you have access to the VA programs, which can go up to 100% financing. And then for well-qualified buyers, buyers, excuse me, there are actually uh, conventional style loan programs where if you're willing to pay the mortgage, private mortgage insurance, uh, you can actually get away with under 20%, um, typically as low as anywhere from 5 sometimes 3% with some gifts. So there's plenty of options out there, definitely uh, worth talking about uh, these with your lender and how we can help you potentially down the road if you have further questions. The next myth that I uh, found, uh, and this was a personal uh, story as well with this actually the same buyer, but uh, cash is king. They were very worried, you know, we're up against in a price point where there's a lot of cash investment and um, there's no way they're going to take our offer when they're up against cash. Well, interestingly enough, if you've got a solid pre-approval, meaning you've done your um your information, you've got your information, all your ducks in a row to your lender. They've been able, able to get you through a DU underwritten approval. You've got everything supported and you can show a very solid pre-approval letter um, and sometimes even a, a, a handwritten note from um, you as a buyer to the seller can go a long way. And essentially a financed offer if you're willing to come in higher than maybe that cash buyer or investor who's trying to use the cash leverage to get a better price. If you can get a higher offer and still get the amount of information to the seller where they feel comfortable. Uh, or play on those heartstrings, as we call it, with some um, letters maybe to them personally, uh, you can actually beat out cash buyers with the right strategy. So something to consider speaking with a knowledgeable real estate agent with and really formulating that strategy when you get to it. And then the last uh, myth I wanted to bring up is down payment assistance programs. There are quite a few out there, um, but they do go by the wayside pretty fast. So um, you know, understand that they are not easy necessarily to get. Uh, the funds, number one, can dry up. So finding a house when the funds are available for down payment assistance can be challenging. On top of that, just getting your application and your approval process does take a little bit of work and some legwork, including sometimes classes and additional documentation you have to provide. So just because they're available, don't un uh, underestimate the amount of work that may go into having to do it. But again, well worth the situation if down payment is the reason you're um, hung up from becoming a homeowner potentially. So with those, it's just a few things that uh, you might not have been aware of when it comes to purchasing a home or if you're looking to get financing. As always, feel free to reach out to me if you have any further questions. I can always get you in touch with some knowledgeable lending professionals that can really help you get um, the right amount of information and help you get up, uh, you know, formulate a plan perhaps to get on the right track. So thanks again for watching. Reach out if I can help you with anything as always. Thanks so much. Have a good one.